Straight ahead on News 47 at 11, protecting the nation's beef supply from mad cow. New restrictions are put into place. Some ranchers don't think they go far enough. Are you being gouged at the gas pump by high prices? That's the focus of hearings in Sacramento. And the cost of making a trip to the Magic Kingdom is about to climb. Those stories just ahead. You're watching KGPE. Now, News 47 for the Central Valley. News 47 at 11. More cattle will undergo testing for mad cow disease. But does the added measure make consumers feel any better about what's for dinner? Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Catherine Herr. Well, the federal government is uh, beefing up its testing for mad cow disease. They're taking extra precautions to make sure the beef you're eating is safe. The U.S. Department of Agriculture recently approved a new testing system, and under the new guidelines, they will increase the number of cattle tested by more than 10 times. However, one producer of beef says that isn't enough and wants to privately test all of its cows, which is currently illegal. News 47's Tuan Lam shows us why some shoppers would rather buy beef that is 100% tested. Cindy Calhoun doesn't think twice about whether or not her beef is safe to eat while shopping at the grocery store, but says many of her friends have cut beef out of their diet entirely. I like to eat meat, and I still do, but I have friends that say that they're not going to eat meat, and they haven't, and, and, they, and they want to. Calhoun said she'd jump at the chance to buy meat from ranchers who privately test 100% of their cattle. I get the tested one, because you never can uh, tell for sure. But such testing is against the law. Paul Bettencourt, the former president of the Fresno County Farm Bureau, says the government is doing a good job detecting the disease. Look out of the, the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of cows in, in the country, they found the one sick one, and, and they quarantined it. Bettencourt says many ranchers are using private testing as a marketing tool to reel in customers like Calhoun. He believes it's unnecessary, too expensive, and sends out the wrong message. It would leave the perception that, you know, this food's safe because it's 100% tested, but this other food isn't safe because it's not 100% tested. Cindy Calhoun remains skeptical, even with the federal government's new guidelines. Every time they've told us that they know what they're doing, they don't. So, it's like mosquitoes don't, you know, give you AIDS or encephalitis, and they do. Since the discovery of mad cow disease in December, the federal government says they're doing everything they can to restore consumer confidence, and they'll continue to take all the necessary steps to detect the disease. In the newsroom, Tuan Lam, News 47. And a recent Consumers Union poll shows 95% of adults are willing to pay an extra dime for every pound of beef tested, but uh, testing every slaughtered cow will cost around six cents a pound. No visitors for accused mass murderer Marcus Wesson, neither from his family or student tours. The Fresno County Jail says it will no longer take public or student tours by the cell where Wesson is housed. Wesson is being held without bail for the murders of nine of his children. Earlier this week in court, Wesson's former attorney said that a group of students had been allowed to talk to Wesson, but he's been denied visits by his family after the court was told Relatives plan to ask his permission to commit suicide. And, uh, A hearing is scheduled for Tuesday to determine whether Wesson will be allowed visits from his family. His preliminary hearing is set for April 7th. A big meth bust in the town of Lindsay. One man is under arrest and a meth lab out of business in the town near Visalia. Police searched the property on the 1400 block of Honolulu Street and say that they found a meth lab and chemicals that could have produced $32,000 worth of the drug. They've arrested 28-year-old Michael Daniel Kane on suspicion of manufacturing a controlled substance and possession of chemicals to make meth. Drivers haven't gotten much of a break at the pump in the last few months, and some California lawmakers are trying to see if the higher gas prices are fair. A series of gas hearings by legislators started yesterday in Los Angeles. They're trying to determine if oil companies are justified in charging more. Some legislators compared the high gas prices to California's energy crisis a few years ago. Here again, we're looking at uh, refineries closing, refineries uh, being uh, offline for service, and it would be good to know whether this is a manipulation. Oil companies claim they're just passing along their costs 
after OPEC increased prices and several refineries shut down. One proposal before lawmakers would let the Public Utilities Commission regulate the gas prices and how they're set. And uh, we're trying to help you ease your pain at the pump. You can find the cheapest gas prices around the valley just by logging on to our website at 47cbs.com. Click on the Best Gas Prices link. Discussion about workers' compensation will resume tomorrow between Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and state legislative leaders after hitting a roadblock. The governor's made workers' comp reform one of his main agendas since taking office. This comes after complaints by employers who say that costs have more than doubled since the year 2000. Schwarzenegger and the legislators are hoping to reach an agreement by the end of the month. New at 11 tonight, two shopping malls with Walmart supercenters are going up in Bakersfield despite some citizens' efforts to stop construction. The 5th District Court of Appeals reversed a ruling by a Kern County judge who ordered work on the projects to stop because of environmental concerns. Work can continue on the stores for up to six months while attorneys negotiate the environmental issues. And new at 11 tonight, a new study says that San Francisco and Oakland's airports need to be expanded by 2013 to serve increased air traffic. Those airports are among 11 places the Federal Aviation Administration says should renovate their runways or terminals. Other airports that need some work include the one in Burbank, Pasadena, and also in Long Beach. Democratic presidential hopeful John Kerry says that he has the answer to stopping U.S. companies from sending jobs overseas and creating more jobs in the next four years. <laughs> Kerry was in Missouri today to talk about his plan to put an end to an estimated $12 billion in tax relief he says companies get when they outsource jobs overseas. He says it's all part of a plan to create 10 million jobs in four years. Meanwhile, investigators in the Bay Area are searching for stolen FBI files about the agency's tracking of Senator Kerry in 1971. The reporter who got the files under the Freedom of Information Act says three of the 14 boxes taken from his Bay Area home contained information about the FBI's investigation of Kerry. You may recall it was released last week. The Massachusetts senator was tracked for several months in the early 70s because of his involvement with anti-war groups. Despite negative testimony before the 9-11 Commission from a top terror advisor, a new poll shows that it has not affected Americans' views of President Bush. Richard Clark testified before the Commission this week, claiming President Bush ignored warnings of al-Qaeda threats before the attacks on September 11th. But the Newsweek poll also shows public support for President Bush's handling of terrorism has dropped from 65% to 57% in the last month. The man who uh, was uh, by Saddam Hussein's side for several years may have been the one to lead U.S. forces to the former Iraqi dictator's hiding place. According to a report by the BBC, Saddam's bodyguard gave troops the information shortly after he was arrested and interrogated in December. The guard was one of the people seen in a car with Saddam when he left Baghdad last April. And Saddam Hussein may have a French lawyer to defend him. Jacques Vergez says that he would take on the case after receiving a letter from one of Saddam's nephews. Vergez has defended some of the world's most notorious figures, including Nazi war criminal Klaus Barbie and former Yugoslav leader Slobodan Milosevic. A crowd of about 200 protesters was broken up by Taiwan police during a demonstration in front of the president's office. People have protested in the past week over the presidential election results that put Chen Shui Ban back in office. Protesters are demanding a recount. Chen won the election on March 20th with about 30,000 votes out of more than 13 million cast. And French paratroopers moved the first shipload of food aid for 180,000 Haitians. The country has suffered in the past five weeks since looters took food during the uprising against ousted President Jean-Bertrand Aristide. A third of the eight million people in Haiti suffer from malnutrition. A summit involving 22 Arab League members was postponed after some folks were reluctant to attend. 
and a few Gulf states sent low-level delegations to the meeting. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the Iraq war were some of the top issues on the summit agenda. A new date has not yet been set. NASA, NASA launches a super jet into the sky, plus a bizarre scam at fast food restaurants. It's led to customers getting strip searched. And it's man versus beast at Fresno's Save Mart Center, some of the best bull riders around. You're watching News 47 at 11. Starting tomorrow, it's going to cost a little bit more to visit Mickey's house. Disneyland and California Adventure are hiking admission prices to nearly $50 a person. $49.75 for guests over 10 years old. Company officials say it's a result of new attractions, including a new ride that will open in May. The last price hike was in 2002 when Disney raised admission prices from $45 to $47. New at 11, Pope John Paul II is urging Catholics to go to Mass on Sundays instead of attending sporting events or movies. The Pope says... Secular culture has taken away from family life, and he's cautioning young children not to look at movie stars and sports athletes as role models. Police in Phoenix, Arizona are warning fast food customers about a new scam. People posing as police officers are doing strip searches on customers, forcing them to get naked. A man pretending to be an officer called a Taco Bell restaurant in a Phoenix suburb and told the manager to search a young woman that the man claimed was a burglary suspect. We gotta do something about this, not only because it's bizarre, but we gotta take care of our young people. Think of this victim and the trauma that she is going through. The sheriff says the manager of the Taco Bell is not facing any criminal charges at this time. Another victory for NASA, it successfully flew a hypersonic jet over the Pacific Ocean today. The unpiloted X-43A can reach speeds of 5,000 miles an hour and flew a few seconds before it was allowed to plunge into the ocean. Engineers compared their success to that of the Wright brothers 100 years ago, who flew 120 feet in the first controlled power flight. Today, we did something very similar in the same amount of time but our vehicle, under air breathing power, went over 15 miles. NASA built the 12-foot jet under a $250 million program to develop and test an exotic type of engine called a supersonic combustion ramjet. Bull riders from around the world saddled up for a professional tour that bucked its way into Fresno. The Save Mart Center looked more like a rodeo than an arena the past two days. 45 top pro riders battled it out for a spot to compete in the world finals, which are coming up in Las Vegas. Well, from bulls to bunnies, it's the time of year when chocolate bunnies start popping into stores. And coming up, a tour that is enough to make your mouth water. Plus, springtime comes to Fresno's Woodward Park, and you can take some of it home with you. We'll show you how. You're watching News 47 at 11. Hoops Challenge is sponsored by Serpa Automotive Group and Roundtable Pizza. Now's the time to get great Toyota values. The savings just keep coming on the trucks America loves. Right now, get 0% APR financing or $750 cash back on Tacoma. Or 0% APR financing or $1,000 cash back on Tundra. Two rugged trucks, many great ways to save. Don't miss Toyota's nationwide sales event with legendary quality, incredible selection and value. Hey, what's not to like? The signs are all around you. It's time to spring into CBS 47's Healthy Living Expo. Healthy Living Expo is free cholesterol screenings, free blood pressure checks, and more. Get tips on nutrition, fitness, and the latest advances in medical technology. Everything you need to live a longer, healthier life. And it's all free. Healthy Living Expo, Saturday, April 10th at the Fresno Convention Center Exhibit Hall. Brought to you by CBS 47 and IQ. Hi there. A 
announcing the Lincoln Mercury Think Big sales event with just announced savings on every Lincoln and Mercury, including Navigator, the midsize aviator, and the award-winning Mountaineer. Get 0% financing for 60 months or 3,000 cash back. Plus, you may save even more on select Lincoln and Mercury SUVs during the Think Big sales event. See your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. CBS 47. We're heating up college hoops with a road to the Final Four. Do more than watch the game. Win with CBS 47 Sports. Watch News 47 at 6. Look for the sign, Be Caller 5, and you win. CBS 47 and College Hoops. We got you covered. Accepting the trophy for Car and Driver's 2004 Best Luxury SUV, the Cadillac SRX Performance Utility, Car and Driver's 2004 Best Luxury SUV. Cadillac, breakthrough. Well, things are cooling down tonight after a day that saw high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. It looks like we will warm up tomorrow. Let's take a look at the forecast for the valley. After overnight lows down in the low 50s tonight, we're expecting mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Temperatures warming up 10 degrees or more. A high for Fresno and Clovis forecast at 81 degrees. Valley locations could see highs in the low 70s to low 80s. Up in the mountain communities, clear skies tonight. Overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny with highs in the upper 60s to low 80s. Mariposa warming up to 78 tomorrow, Ochre 79. Auberry should see a high of 67 degrees and Three Rivers warming up to 81. For Yosemite, mostly sunny tomorrow with a high of 70 degrees. Shaver Lake warming up to 67 and Huntington Lake should see a high of 64. Our seven day forecast shows that we'll start off the week in the 80s, but by Tuesday, dropping down into the mid 70s cooling down into the lower 70s by Wednesday. That's when the clouds will start moving in Tuesday and Wednesday, and uh, overnight lows will stay in the 50s. And by the way, air quality moderate in Merced, Madera, Fresno, and Tulare counties. Air quality good in Kings County. Some folks in Oklahoma got a bit of a weather show today. A massive tornado touched down in a rural area. 70 mile per hour winds fueled the system along with huge drops of hail the size of golf and tennis balls. Yeah. No injuries or significant damage has been reported. Back here in the valley, more than 70 bonsai trees dating back hundreds of years were on display at Woodward Park today. The Fresno Bonsai Society held their spring show along with a spring blossom festival put on by the Shenzhen Friendship Garden Group. Folks took a lot of interest in the ages of the bonsai trees. I think a lot of the people are really impressed by some of the big trees, the really old trees. I mean, we have trees here that are, you know, like I say, 500 years old, uh, 200 years old. They're really impressed by that age factor. You can, you can imagine why. Art displays, Japanese pottery, and traditional tea ceremonies were all part of the event. It continues tomorrow at Woodward Park. It runs from 10 in the morning until 5 in the evening. Cost of admission, $3 for adults and $1 for kids, children under 4 get in free. Lots of basketball on the schedule today. More coming up tomorrow. Yeah, and arena football returns to the Valley. Guess who was there? Three-time Super Bowl champion coach Bill Walsh, that too, and the only thing that could bring him would be the hard-hitting, fast-paced arena football to action with the Central Valley Coyotes. How about the best wrestlers in the nation right here in the Valley? Tell you if any Valley guys have things to celebrate tonight. The thrilling finishes from uh, the big dance today and baseball for you from Houston and back here at home. All the highlights coming up next on News 47. Tom Engel showed off his moves after coaching Kennesaw State to the Division II National Championship in Bakersfield. In the biggest dance of all, they were high school teammates at Bel Air High in Houston. Now UConn's Emeka Okafor and Oklahoma State's John Lucas are headed for a reunion in San Antonio, Final Four style. Here's how it looked and sounded today on 47. Davis takes it inside against Oker. Uh-oh! That's five blocks. 
for the All-American. Somebody else don't let him get it. And then Gordon finds yeah. a way to work his way in. Oh, the shot tipped around. Look at Nelson find the spot. Get past Carroll. Three-point shot. Oh, boy. Tied the game at 57. Lucas. Farley converges on him. Made away jumper. He got it. 51, 59. Another one. Yeah. team had no timeouts and you hit the winning three. Hey, I had a horrible first half and I told myself in the locker room that this was my half. I had to step up for my teammates. I felt like I let them down and I said no matter what I'm winning this game today. When you released it did you know you made it? Absolutely. <laughs> Whew, two more games tomorrow. <laughs> Try to erase the memory of the defunct Fresno frenzy. The Central Valley Coyotes showed up at Selen Arena tonight for AF2 Take 2 in the Valley. If they can get coaching legends like Bill Walsh there every game, they'll do all right. Unfortunately, they had to play the defending AF2 champs, and it's Darnell Arsenault to his brother Anthony Arsenault for the touchdown. The Coyotes coming back. Former Bulldog Juwan Huddleston, he played defensive line for the Dogs, but makes a nice catch there. Would they get in the end zone? Well, they're trying, but, ooh, not going to happen. The big stop for Hawaii. Guess what? Very next play, Arsenault, the length of the field for Robert Kempfert. Hawaii takes the big lead, but the fans stuck around to see some Coyotes action. Kenyatta Morgan with the touchdown catch. The Coyote fans having a little fun. At halftime, everybody had fun. The City County All-Stars, a whole bunch of great high school athletes around here. Got to uh, hear Coach Pat Hill and Coach Bill Walsh talk a little bit. And another high point to arena football, if you catch a ball, you get to keep it, as Josh Salas does right there. Unfortunately, the Coyotes would not take home a win, though. They end up losing the opener 68-35. It'll be a fun season. 1,700 wrestling buffs pack Clovis West High's gym tonight to watch the best high school seniors from California take on a dream team of seniors from across the country. The crowd roared when Clovis West, Chris Martinez, upset national number one Trevor Chin, and they got pumped up again here. Three-time state champion Troy Tirapelli of Clovis High wins an 8-2 decision over four-time Ohio state champion Jeff Jaggers. Those are the two bright spots for the Golden State to meet one by the dream team, 38-12. The Fresno Falcons lose their last road game of the season, 5-1 at Long Beach. They'll finish with three at home starting Tuesday night. On the ice in Dortmund, Germany, the World Championships, Michelle Kwan wins a medal for the ninth straight year in the World Championships. Unfortunately for her, it's not the gold medal. She's beaten out by fellow American Sasha Cohen. Sasha ends up taking the silver medal, but the gold medalist in a big surprise, Shizuka Arakawa from Japan. She is your world champion. That's her right there world champ for this year. Already the school's all-time strikeout leader, Fresno State junior Jamie Southern, fanned eight tonight. She's now tied for 20th on the all-time NCAA list. Southern took a shutout to the seventh inning today in the whack opener against Nevada. With two outs, though, the Wolfpack would mount a rally. That's after Fresno State picks up its fourth run here on Mitzi Ng's RBI single. Nevada would end up scoring twice in the seventh and having the tying runs on base. Southern eventually gets out of it, though, and they win game one, four to two. They get a four-hit shutout for Laura Ferreira to finish the sweep, four to uh, nothing in game two. The Fresno State baseball team jumped out in front again today against national defending champion Rice. They won it all last year. That's freshman Nick Moresti with his second homer of the year. That made it one nothing Bulldogs. They led two to nothing and three to two before allowing four Rice runs in the seventh. Fresno State ends up stranding the tying run at third in the ninth and loses six to five. They'll try to avoid that sweep tomorrow. Back in the Valley at Euless Park, the catch of the year so far for Fresno City. Justin Chris playing out for it. That was pretty. The former Washington Union star and uh, Fresno State recruit playing very well for Ron Scott's club. They're number one in the state. Another look at that catch. Chris also hits a three-run homer for the Rams. They win 12-1, improving to 7-2 in the CBC. Modesto still leads the conference at 8-1 after blanking Reedley today, 3 to zip. as we take a look at those scores. Merced is tied with Fresno after nipping West Hills in 10 innings, 4-3.
The defending uh, national champs, uh, Rice, of course, will go for that sweep against Fresno State tomorrow in baseball. Meanwhile, a former Bulldog is busy trying to chase down his second career win on the PGA Tour. That would be Kevin Sutherland. He won the World Match Play Championships a couple years ago. That made him a million dollars. If he wins this one, the Players' Championship, he'd earn almost a million and a half. Nice shot on 17 there over the water and onto the green. He'd end up birdieing the 17th. But bogeying 18, he ends up one over for the day. But the good news is he's still just two strokes off the lead held by Adam Scott. 14-year-old Michelle Wee is just two shots off on the LPGA Tour. 17-year-old Ari Song is tied with Grace Park for the lead there. Fresno's Mike Springer a good day. He's tied for seventh on the Nationwide Tour. The biggest upset of the women's NCAA tournament so far came from four-seed LSU. The Tigers today got 29 points from Simone Augustus and gave the top-ranked Texas Longhorns the boot. 71-55 the score in this one. The Tigers will face three-seed Georgia in the Elite Eight. Penn State also a winner today over Notre Dame. But the incredible run of the 11-seed Gauchos of UC Santa Barbara came to an end today in Hartford, Connecticut. They got to an end two. The Gauchos did on that bucket, but they couldn't get any closer, losing to defending champion Connecticut 63-55. Uh, Finally, to wrap things up, LeBron James has definitely come of age. The steal here and the late bucket puts his team on top. Then he's going to get the ball again on the rebound and take it in for another two. He scores a career-high 41, brings the Cavs from behind to beat the Nets 107-104, although the Nets almost tied it with that shot right there. LeBron is something else. Fresno State women's tennis team winning again, as does the Fresno City men's team. Congratulations. Yeah, they're great. Well, the Easter Bunny will soon hop around the world, dropping off Easter baskets of yummy chocolate treats. And some kids got an early glimpse at one of their favorite candies. You're watching News 47 at 11. Imagine a day in your life with a luxury automobile from Fresno Infinity. Drive the one that's right for you and experience the performance, the style, the convenience, and the satisfaction. In work, in play, in life. Experience affordable luxury from Fresno Infinity. Come see us at Fresno Infinity. Spring is here, and so is this incredible sale on Comcast high-speed internet. Call now and get the cable internet speed you've been waiting for. Video clips play in real time. Music and photos download instantly. You're free to surf the net. Your phone line's free for call. Call 1-888-824-8069 and get Comcast high-speed internet for only a dollar for your first month. Hurry, Comcast. Spring blowout sale ends March 28th. Call 1-888-824-8069 right now. 47CBS.com is the place to go for the latest news, weather, and information you can use. 47CBS.com is now the place to go for the latest in health care with the enhanced 47CBS.com health care guide. Sponsored by St. Agnes Medical Center. Learn from the experts things you can do to be more physically fit. Click on the St. Agnes Heart link to learn the things you need for a stronger, healthier heart. The 47CBS.com health care guide and St. Agnes Medical Center. Working together for your benefit. Log on to 47CBS.com today. Millionaires in Walt Disney World, where players are pushing the envelope. Target, my lesson. Total guess, totally correct. But will they gain fame and fortune? We have officially reached game show heaven. On Millionaires. Weekdays at 4.30 and 6.30. Excuse me, is that the Accord LX Coupe? Uh, yes. The one with an IV Tech engine? Sure is. And has racing-inspired suspension? Yep. The one that you can lease for $2.39 a month for 36 months? Uh, yeah. Sorry, but I have to get it ready. Oh, yeah, well, go right ahead. Say, who are you anyway? I'm the announcer guy. Oh. Now you can lease an Accord LX Coupe for $239 a month for 36 months. With Easter just two weeks away, chocolate bunnies will soon hop into homes around the world. And some kids in Ohio got a first-hand look at how chocolate makers create the Easter Bunny's favorite treats. One candy maker says the popularity of certain treats has stayed the same throughout the years. Yeah, our big sellers are still the cream eggs and the chocolate uh, novelties like Easter bunnies, rabbits, shit, ducks, that type of thing. About 4,000 families showed up at the Anthony Thomas Candy Company in Columbus, Ohio today for the annual Easter open house. I can imagine it just smelled absolutely fantastic there. The factory says the start, they start preparing the Easter for Easter the day after Christmas. 
Business is hopping as companies rush to finish their orders in the final weeks before the upcoming holiday. You can get that aroma up in the North Valley, too, in Oakdale, the Hershey Chocolate Factory. Great mm. tour. Recommend it. I bet. Well, that'll do it for this edition of News 47 at 11. We'll see you tomorrow at 6. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Rick. Great car. Nice, nice.